Elo, how are you today? Today I'm doing a Sephora haul. I made a Sephora order about a month ago during the VIB sale, but you know what? They just put up an event. It's not really an event, but they have a summer sale where a lot of the items are 50% off right now. So I actually bought a lot more now than I did during the VIB sale. Because <laughs> 50% off is way better than 15% off. If you like Sephora hauls, make sure to leave a like on this video and you can comment whatever you want down below. Did you pick up something in the haul? Or not in the haul, sorry. Did you pick up something during the summer sale that they're having right now? And if you would subscribe to my channel, that'd be really cool too. I'd love to have you here. <laughs> I picked up a little order. There's a lot of goodies in here. We better get started or we might be here forever. So the first thing I'm gonna grab out of this bag is the Urban Decay Little Vices um, lipstick set. It looks like this. It is like a matchbox style um, kind of box and it comes with five different colors in different finishes. They have um, a cream finish, a comfort matte finish, and a metalized finish in here. And I'm actually wearing one of the lipsticks today. I'm wearing 1993, which is the year I was born actually. And it's a comfort matte finish. And holy cow, I actually love this color. A lot of lipsticks don't look good on me, but this one actually I think is quite flattering. So that's what it looks like on the inside. They look like little bullets and that is incredibly satisfying to me for some reason. The inside package is just a bunch of lips. It's it's just lips. And I will show you the, the lipsticks and maybe swatch a couple. So this is um, Violate. It is a cream finish lipstick. It looks like this. It's like a light purpley, almost your lips color. I haven't actually tried this on yet, but I will swatch it on my hand. Oh yeah, okay. It's like purpley, like that on there. Sorry about this. I was doing my makeup earlier and I just put my dirty brushes on my hand like that. So yes, there's that one. It's quite pretty. Can't wait to wear that. And then we'll swatch a metalized one. This is a purple uh, lipstick called Mad. It's a metalized finish. Oh, there's a little dent in the back. That's not cool. Did it come like that? Oh well, no biggie. Anyway, yeah, it's purple. Let's swatch a Rooney. Yeah, so this one's a lot more shimmery. It is another purpley shade. I don't know if you can see that. That's probably good for like going out, which I will be on Friday. So maybe I'll wear this or a red. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. <laughs> and then I'll just swatch one more of the last finish. So the Comfort Matte, of course, 1993. What I'm wearing right now, I will swatch it. It's like a brownie nude. It's just, it's a really nice nude. It's on the darker side of the nude spectrum, but is a nice color and I'm scared it'll run out. And even though it is a matte finish, it's actually very comfortable. Like I don't have to layer a lip balm under it. I just put it directly on my lips and my lips don't feel like crack city. So that's good. <laughs> yeah, and then I'll just show you the other two colors. I might not swatch them. This is Double Crossed. It is this guy right here is a darker lipstick. Why am I talking in an accent now? And then this one, Love Drunk, is another comfort matte. I might wear this on Friday, I don't know. It's a nice red. I think it would suit my complexion. So yeah, that was the first item. Another thing I got from the sale is the Laneige Hydration Kit. It's got four items in here. It's very, very cute. I quite like Laneige skincare. I think they understand like Asian skincare needs. Um, it comes with a essential power skin toner, the water bank essence, water bank moisture cream, and the water sleeping mask. I have tried the water sleeping mask before by them, and I quite like it. It absorbs quickly. It doesn't feel greasy when you put it on. So that's this one that I'm talking about. I think it, the one I have is in the exact same packaging. It's just a mini like this. That's what the inside looks like. It's like a light blue gel like cream, and it absorbs so quickly, which I really like. And then the other thing under it is the Water Bank Moisture Cream. This says it helps with hydrating and soothing the skin, and it's got hydroionized mineral water and microhyaluronic acid. I don't know, I feel like people are so hype about hyaluronic acid, and I have a lot of um, skincare products with hyaluronic acid, but I don't know if it's actually doing much for my skin. I have a very dry forehead right now, and I've been slapping on hyaluronic acid items items skincare onto my forehead and it's still super dry I don't know maybe I need to try something more heavy-duty and then this is the skin toner 
It is purifying and hydrating, and it has the same hydroionized mineral water and birch sap extract. So I guess you would put this on a cotton pad like you do with most toners and spread it on the skin that way. It just comes off with the lid like that. It's, it's purely a liquid. <laughs> and lastly, in this cute little bottle is the water bank essence for all skin. When, when products have the word essence, it's just so vague. Like what is this supposed to do? I guess you put this on before your moisturizer, correct me if I'm wrong. And it's got the same hydro ionized mineral water and it's got natural moisturizing factor betaine. Interesting. I have some of the ordinary products with natural moisturizing factor. This bottle is so cute. It looks like nail polish almost. It's so cute. But it's not, of course. It has a lid and then a little pump and then you can pump it onto your hands and then subsequently spread it on your face, I'm sure. <laughs> I think it's only like 17 Canadian dollars. Like, how can you pass that up? That's such a good deal. And I think this is about the same price too. So the next item I got, oh, this packaging is probably the most luxurious looking packaging I own for makeup. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio. It is in the set Berry Adour. So this is the box it came in. It comes with the colors Velvet, Exotic, and Desert. And it says it's a full pigmented blush for buildable intensity and a seamless fin finish. Even the box feels really luxe. And then when it comes out, when you pull it out, it's got you know, a little cardboard thing to protect it. And there's the paper. And look, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this on camera, but there's little, there, you can see it kinda right there. There's little emblems all under the top of the packaging. And it says, you know, Anastasia Beverly Hills there. This just feels super luxurious. <laughs> like, I, I'm not fancy enough to own this kind of luxurious. And you just press the button here and it opens up. And let's take that plastic out and those are the three colors you get and the mirror this is quite dark but i am into experimenting with blushes more so now there's the berry color uh exotic and then there's desert which is a more peachy orange oh it's just it's so beautiful you can see yourself guys <laughs> i have used it i find abh blushes are extremely pigmented like more so than the tart ones that i normally use um that's not necessarily bad but you have to use a light hand or you're gonna look like a baboon butt the a baboon butt if you're not careful i have used this once so i use the exotic color it's nice but again light hand is the trick do not smash that on there unless that's the look you're going for <laughs> no problems if that's what you're going for so there's this beauty and then this is another lippy set i picked up this is the sephora uh, favorites give me some nude lip uh lip kit and there are how many items in here one two three four five six i believe there's six lippies in here this is on an, inc an incredible deal i think originally the favorite kits aren't that expensive either it's like 34 canadian but i think i got it for 17 as well oh, lots of 17s in here it's in the shape of a lip it's extremely cute <laughs> and there's actually a full size item in here it's not just uh, sample sizes so it comes with a full size urban decay vice special effects i don't know lip lip top coat sorry it's in the color fever i haven't used this yet it's very metallic and it's got ah i gooped it oh well maybe i can swatch it for you then i gooped it on my finger it's very glittery i don't know if you can see that some more on. it's very glittery yeah so you just put it on top of your lipsticks i guess then because it's not very opaque on its own it's just like a glitter that you could put on your lips to make yourself look more va va boom, I'm sure. <laughs> and then it came with this um, hourglass lip thingy. <laughs> it's a lipstick of some sort. It's in Futurist, made in Canada. And I actually have worn this. I wore this to work. This is another like nude your lips but better color. I think I like the 1993 shade from the Vice lipsticks by Urban Decay a little more, but this is not bad. And thank God it's a twist up because I freaking hate sharpening these fat pencils. It's just so annoying. <laughs> so yeah, it's nice and creamy. Again, you don't have to wear lip balm with this one. It's quite nice and small. You can throw it in your bag. And then I got ooh, a very nice NARS lipstick in the color Orgasm. That's their famous color of everything. It's like a light pinky. It's got some shimmer in it. Haven't worn this yet. Excited to try it. And then it came, oh, I really like these. These are the Buxom um, lip buxom what buxom buxom full-on lip polishes this color is sugar 
I don't know if I already own this because I have a lot of these. If you've seen my lipstick collection video, if I will link it there, if I remember. <laughs> and these have a nice like mintiness, they plump up your lips and I love that lip minty feeling on my lips. Yep, smells really good, it smells like some sort of vanilla candy. Can you see that? It's the bottom one. Nice shimmer, nice nude. We have a Tardis lip paint in the color, oh it's quick dry matte lip paint. What's the color? Why does it not say on here? Anyway, another nude. I actually don't like the lip paints that much. I own two of them. One was a birthday gift and the other was like in a sample or something. And I find they make my lips look really dry and cracked. I don't know if I just need to find out like the proper lip balm to use under them or if I'm doing something wrong, but like the color is nice. It's opaque. It comes with like a little doe foot applicator like so. Um, I'm just gonna swatch it here. Oof, I really gooped that one on. It's the top right there. It's really light. It might wash me out a little if I wear it, but you know what? Don't knock it till you try it. And yeah, these do dry down to a nice matte. But yeah, they make my lips look like Wrinkle City. And then lastly is a Smashbox um, liquid lipstick. Why do these not have names? I wish they had names on them. I'm sure if I looked at the website, I would see them. Whoa, this applicator's weird. <laughs> it's like a triangle almost, and there's a lot of product gooped on there. That's like a darker side of the nude, more on the red side. Yeah. There's that guy, and that's every lip lippy in that kit. I wanna get more into lipsticks, I have so many. Hopefully the nudes will be the segue, the gateway drug to my lipstick usage, because I already have an addiction of collecting lipsticks, let's be honest. I actually made a separate order just to get this. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. Honestly, when I swatched these palettes in store, I'm like, oh, I'm not impressed, I don't want it, like whatever. But it was on sale for 30 bucks, so I'm like, can't say no, I'm wearing it today. It's a very like neutral look. It's nothing spectacular, but I do think this is a good everyday palette. It's not super pigmented, but it's like, it's good enough. You know what I'm saying? And it smells like chocolate, so. <laughs> I made an order just for this because when I was on Sephora's website, this was actually out of stock, but I was up at one in the morning and I got an email saying it's back in stock. So I'm like, Okay, I mean, I'm rude, I get free shipping anyway, so I just picked this one up. And I did, I do really like the packaging. Um, it comes with a little look card if you need to figure out how to do some looks with it. My eye shape isn't quite like this, but I'm sure I could modify them to get the looks they have here. It's got, it looks like this, it's like shiny, it looks like a chocolate bar. Um, it's got a metal pack, like a metal clip. Doesn't actually have anything physical holding it down, it's just Sorry, did I say metal? I meant magnet. <laughs> and it has a mirror, as you can see, and all these nice, beautiful, neutral colors. I used um, marzipan, salted caramel, and semi-sweet today on my eyes. So that's like pretty much on this side. Sorry, I have no hands. And um, yeah, it's quite nice. It has a white chocolate, which is a good brow bone highlight, and champagne truffle, which is a good shimmer that you can use with a lot of looks. It smells delicious, like I want to eat it. <laughs> So I have this to add to my already humongous eyeshadow palette collection. I picked this up. This is from the Sephora brand. It is the Rose Moisturizing Cream for your face. Um, this is what it looks like. This was six bucks. Like, how do you pass that up? <laughs> it's cute. It comes in a cute package. I don't want to open it yet because I do have a lot of like moisturizers and skincare stuff already opened. So when I use up my current face cream, my Origins Ginseng one, I will probably switch over to this one. I don't know. Again, I have so much skincare, like I need to keep track of it all. <laughs> it's cute and apparently it's good for hydrating, quenching and brightening. That's what it's good for. You can always use that. I ordered this. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Not an original, but in the color Minor Sin. <laughs> was, this a, was this one of the original? Selections? I don't know. I, I bought two way back like in the OG days when they still look like this. This is the original. And I have one more that's kind of like this. I have used this. Again, I'm not a huge fan of this new like applicator. I'd rather it be a squeezy tube. I think it's a little more hygienic that way, especially if it's going to be that close to your eyes. But it's like a, it's like a light shimmery eyeshadow base. Where will I put it? Can you see that? right there on my wrist and then you can like spread it out and you can put eyeshadows on it and it can make shimmers a little more give it a little more pop 
I do like the lid <laughs> and this is what it looks like. It's quite pretty and it is 10 mils, which I think is the same as back when they used to come like this. No, nope, this one's 11 mils, so they shrunk it too. Thanks, Urban Decay. <laughs> I'm still bitter over this, but they changed it, what, like four years ago now? I don't know. There's that. I did order this too. It's not a sample, even though it's like a mini size. This is a Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I do have a sample of this. I do like it, but it was 12 bucks, so I thought, why not? It's oil-free. It helps my foundation look a little smoother on my face, so I got this as well. And then we'll go over the samples real quick. This is one of the deluxe size samples that I got. This is the Tarte Mermaid Skin Hyaluronic Acid H2O Serum. It's part of their uh, Rainforest of the Sea line. It looks like this. It's a serum you put on before your moisturizers. It comes with a golden lid and a pump. And on the front it says mermaid skin and it looks like the ocean water. It's beautiful. It has no um, fragrance. I have used it last night and this morning. Um, no huge difference yet, but you know what? <laughs> I just started using it. So if I like it, I might do a favorites video tell it, talking about this because I haven't had a favorites video in a long time. And then, oh, this, this was something I was very excited about. This is the Milk Makeup New Kush Mascara Sample. Um, before and after. Is that what my lashes look like? I actually really do like this mascara. It does make my lashes look quite nice. And my lashes are like short and stubby pretty naturally. So this is what the sample looks like. It's in a silver tube with black writing. I love Milk Makeup's aesthetic. It's just, it's beautiful. And this is what the wand looks like. It's actually quite a big brush. I don't like big brushes very often because I feel like there's more room for error. You can get the mascara on your eyelid by accident. But I actually really like this. It's got cannabis oil apparently to condition your lashes and it does seem to have pretty good lasting power. Like it doesn't really um, flake off on my face too much, but I always layer any mascara I use with either the Heroine Make Long and Curl Mascara because I know this thing is budge proof or the Voluminous Slash Paradise by L'Oreal because I also know this is budge proof. <laughs> just so that I don't look like a ghoul at the end of the day. It's just, it's just to be safe. Then I got two Brio Geo hair care samples. I got the Repair Shampoo and the Re Repair Conditioner. They have no sulfates, no silicones, and no parabens, which is nice because the less chemicals, the better, right? And I heard a lot of people um, saying really good things about Brio Geo, so I'm excited to use this. Very nice. And then I also got the Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. My hair is super dry. Like the front looks fine, but my actual ends of my hair are super dry, even though I cut it recently. And it says this deep repair mask has a unique, a unique blend of avocado, sweet almond, argan oils, and hair essential vitamin B5 and biotin to repair damaged hair, enhance shine, and reduce breakage by up to 81% after three uses. I'm not sure this is gonna give me three uses, <laughs> but I'm gonna try it regardless. And then I got one of the Benefit Professional samples. Um, that's like one use in there. It's just a card. <laughs> and then I got the sample of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. It's a moisturizer too? Primer and moisturizer in one. Sorry, I can't read. It comes in this tiny little vial. So it's like a primer and a moisturizer so that you can skip your moisturizing step essentially. I think it's what they're trying to say, throwing things. And I have a couple little ones. We'll just quickly go through them. This is the Lancome. La crème de la santé à repompante. <laughs> oh, the English is under it. The smoothing and plumping water infused cream. Sure, Lancome. And then there's the Too Faced Hangover RX infused with coconut water replenishing face primer. I've heard good things about this too. I would like to try that. And then lastly, the Caudalie Vino Perfect uh, Radiant Serum, which I think I've tried before, but I can't really remember now. Hmm. Anyway, that was my haul. Thank you for watching. If you picked up anything during the sale, again, let me know so I feel a little bit better about my bad spending habits. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye-bye.